at Metro MSA on all the socials. Metro FM, it's where you're at. You're live on uh, Metro FM. It's a mighty Metro FM. It's top after the hour six. I am Andy Lingube, and this is Sports That Amplified with Andy. Le. Sitting across me, uh, yeah, no. I'll describe what it is. But if you want to see it live, you're more than welcome uh, to get onto our Facebook page, our Twitter page, as well as our, on YouTube, SABC Sport. That's where we are live. But before we even begin with the show, because on Tuesdays, we celebrate women in sport, particularly this year, because there's so much happening with women in sport. I mean, we saw the T20 World Cup. South African women did so well, the Proteas, in that. We saw the Hockey World Cup here in South Africa, hosted here. Both those teams doing so phenomenally well. There's a Soccer World Cup that's coming up. There's a Netball World Cup that's hosted here in South Africa as well. So it is truly a year for women this 2023. And to do so and celebrate it with possibly one of the greatest minds. And I say this all the time and people are always like, are you sure? Because they look at, uh, you know, social media and they watch reality shows and they're like, hey, Andy, what are you talking about? I say this is one of the the most brilliant minds I've come across in a very long time. And today we're going to be getting into that conversation with her in just a bit. But firstly, very sad news coming out of uh, my hometown, the KZN, because the Natal Rich Boys, um, the midfielders, Puma Lamdolo, collapsed and died during a club training session earlier today. And uh, the 29-year-old who played just this weekend, who did the game on SABC1, he was a holding midfielder, he played against Kaiser Chiefs, collapsing and uh, his life gone just like that. I mean... You remember, it, it nearly really did happen to um, Ericsson, who's now a Manchester United player, who at the time was playing at the U.S. for his national team. It's happened here in South Africa. And our condolences go out to the Natal Rich Boys family, to the family, Bagwam uh, Dolo, to everybody in the soccer fraternity. It's never supposed to be that you go out, leave home, to go pursue a dream, and you come back home in a coffin. So to the family to the loved ones, to everybody. We really do pass our condolences because of the passing of the midfielder there, Uspama Lamdolo. We'll reach out to the club as well, uh, possibly by tomorrow, have something from them, speak to them as well, because soccer players, they leave homes to try and not only fend for themselves, but to get something for everybody, to entertain us. They do it for the love of it, but for our love of it too. So condolences to that team. With that being said, ladies and gentlemen, at 14 after the hour six, history is made here on Metro FM because for the very first time, Sean Mamkize is with us in studio. I didn't think you're a real person. Saying Salwana Andil. Unjan. Nyapil. You look beautiful. Good afternoon to the listeners. Thank you. You said I must really come lovely. in. You said I must bring the part. <laughs> so I hope I've, I've leveled up. <laughs> and I know you're a very compassionate person. I mean, this story breaking this afternoon, uh, Natal Rich Boys are uh, losing their captain, you know, their player as well. I must say, um, I had this news in the afternoon and mm. I had to send Chairman Richards Bay, who is Umlinga Nwami at this present time. Mm. And I've sent my condolences. It's such a sad thing. They are just a new kid in the block. They've been doing so well. And I think the young boy was just beginning to have hope as he has reached the elite league. Mm. It's such a sad news. You know, our condolences to the family, our condolences to the team. It's not a good thing to lose a teammate. It really isn't. Let's take a break right now so that when we come back on the other side, we start this afresh. And uh, like we said, condolences. She's here. She's in the building. So what you have to do, get onto our Facebook page, our Twitter page, our YouTube channel as well. It's at SABC Sport. Misusing, limiting, and controlling your partner's current and future actions and their financial freedom of choice are all forms of financial abuse, a common tactic used by abusers to gain power and control in a relationship. Metro FM, turning 16 days into 365 days. This is Sport Night Amplified, powered by SABC Sports. Let's go. Shonim Keys, the president of Real AM. How are you? How are you? I mean, I love your energy. Whenever you come on, I'm standing on my feet even because I can't sit when I have you on. <laughs> when are you? You said my son's name. Because Fun it's name. like your money. Uh, Family. Family. Hold on, Mamkiz, you're talking about your name, politician. How so? I have marinated to Mamkiz. You're going to get a man. And you're going to ask Mamkiz to go for it. 
Jo, ai. Ai, 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 ai. Mam kise. Ai. Ai, salut, ma. <laughs> Ah oui, il y a Florence. Il y a trois fois de trophées. 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 Il y a trois Call. Call the Metro FM Live Studio. 0860 002 Say no to physical abuse. Recognize the patterns and report it to friends, family, and the authorities. Physical assault, such as hitting, slapping, punching, kicking, hair pulling, biting, pushing, rough handling, scalding, and burning are criminal acts. Alert the authorities and get help. Metro FM, turning 16 days into 365 days. This is Sport Night Amplified with Andile. Okay. Mazola, please ask uh, Mr. Pella Pella to me to sing for us again. Glory, glory, man united. Glory, glory, man united. Like he did when we United won the Carabao Cup. <laughs> and I wanted to ask you, Andile, do you drink 7-Up? Um... <laughs> No, I had something in my throat. <laughs> yo, Andy, I'm to yo, me, na. So look shyly at the scene, like quick, fast. I'm as or nigba mengozo lazi un seven or nigsha ngoma kenta as seven pezu anko show. Oh, pela pela nanto mi Eric Seven Hag. <laughs> Eric Seven Hag. <laughs> <laughs> Weekday, six till seven p.m. on Metro FM. Yeah, yeah. We gon' get them. Get connected. What's at the Metro FM studio? Yeah. 060-552-7303. As we celebrate women every single Tuesday, we've done it with our cricket team. We did it with our netball team. We continue to do so here. But this time around, we went on the upper echelons of management of football with um, a, a lady that, uh, and the reason mostly she's here is because of what you've gone and done now in women's football as well. We'll get into that. You know, Royal AM has now forged its path into women's football in South Africa, playing in the most elite leagues in South Africa for women. Are you, are you, are you Jovic based now? I'm all over. I'm in between. I'm between Devon and Jovic. <laughs> so you, you commute to Lab on a Lab? Because mm-hmm. how do you run a team from another province? Are they, are they, is the women's team also based in the same place? Peter of Myersburg? course, it's there. I go there. I don't miss the important part. The 11 v 11 I'm there. Uh, the technical part, hmm. the set pieces, I'm there. I think those are the crux of the things that one needs to watch and understand their team. And I want to get, I want to, I want to start there, Wana Sean, because I, I, I'm a Lamontville boy. Mm-hmm. Grew up there, and I, you know, I've always known of, and there's always been, you know. And I've always known that your ex-husband loved football and that's why you got into football. And then your son took the love of football as well. And I assumed that that's why you've always gotten into football. Have you had a passion and love for football too? I've never, I, I didn't even know. You know, you'll be surprised that before I didn't even understand the soccer, the, 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 the corner kicks, the penalty. When do you have that? You know, back in the days I used to watch when South Africa is playing. Mm. and But I never used to understand it. Literally, the person that has drawn me into soccer is my son. And it's very addictive, though. Mm. And I think I fell in love with it after that. So it was Andy that loves football. So therefore, as a mother, by supporting him, let me buy him a team. Let me get into it in that way. Why not just take him to games? Actually, the, 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 <laughs> the reason for everything was me being a mother. Mm. It was the scary part, you know. I, I I was thinking, what will happen if my son gets injured? Instead of him playing football, rather than him own, so that he will run and manage what he loves the most. But gay, he still loves it. So I couldn't stop that. Now and again, you'll find his his passion kicking in, and him wanting to train and him wanting to play. But at least he's playing under close watch. So he is playing at the moment. Because I mean, we see him in the in the in the, in the reserve team, they're in the reserve league. Mm. He's playing. And does it matter to you the performance, what he does, or he's happy, he's playing? That's all that matters to you. Because I mean, I can imagine the critique <laughs> that comes with it, and you know, all of that that happens. Does that bother you at all? There's one thing that you must understand that I always install in my family. 
will never allow the noise of the world to determine us. So whatever the world is saying, that will never determine and that will never stop mm. us from our dreams. So it doesn't matter what they say. You must just focus on what you want to do and I'll support him. Hmm. Well, there it is. Uh, um, a mother's love really <laughs> has driven you and brought you into football and the addictiveness of it has kept you here. But talk to me about getting into football. It's not an easy space to get into. And you, you've met some challenges along the way. Not just challenges. I, I, and, and it's never stopped. It's not an easy thing, but uh, I think it's my nature. Everything that is a challenge, I always want to explore. I always want to turn out <coughs> something that is being said to be impossible mm. into possibility. So for me, I like it. You know, when, when every, the only game that I don't like to play, it's when I'm playing Golden Arrows. <laughs> Why? Because you feel like you're playing home. No. She's my sister. It's she's a female. So my I don't mind. get that satisfaction when I'm playing with her if I beat her. Um but every team out of the sixteen, it's only one team. The rest I don't care. And I, and and, and I, I think I get the satisfaction when I beat them because when they come to me, it's always you know, I was looking <laughs> yesterday, was it yesterday or day before yesterday, I was looking at the team that uh, Stelis was playing. And I was saying, <laughs> my goodness why me. It, why is it the team Stelis was playing? It's got a name. Yeah, I, I was looking at the team that was put when Stelis was playing. I was like, hmm, that's kind of nice. Why did that? Uh, I'm hoping, I'm looking forward to see that on Tuesday as well. <laughs> Oh man! But, but every team that comes to play with me, they 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 take it personal. You know, it's 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 only natural that there's no male who wants to be beaten by a female. Do you think so? Do you think they think of it like that? They do. The effort that they, there is not even a single team when they come to play with me, you must see the difference, the effort and 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 the drive that they will put when they're playing Real AM. It's completely different when they're playing other teams. Is there a team? that you celebrate most when you beat? Is there one where you say, Bele Laba, I celebrate all the team because they're being owned by the men. For me, every time, every opportunity that I get to prove men wrong, it gives me the satisfaction. And what you're saying now is what I got when you were fighting, going to court, going all the way to Switzerland, I felt like you were trying to prove a point. I watched a video that you did, and I think that's when a lot of us uh, and a lot of people who didn't know you sat and said, hey, this woman knows what she's talking about. When you took a drive in your car to explain the whole um, you know, court thing and why you're taking them there, it felt like it was personal to you. It felt like you were feeling good to you know, here I must stand up for myself. You know, I felt like the justice system failed me there. And... Uh, Sometimes there are some of the things that you do not leave them untamed. And I felt like it's time for me to stand up for me. I was right at the edge. Number one, I've done my time on the NFT and the way I've pushed that year, I've pushed in a way that I said my time in NFT was done. Mm -hmm. It was not easy. It was not an easy year, but... I was pushing my boys. You know, there were time whereby we were playing the last five games. Mm. And I said to my boys, we are so close. Uh, let us, I gave them a break. I said, go home, but you must know these five games, we must do it together. We went to Cape Town. We went on a team building, but we were there together for the five games. It was not easy. Those five games were the most difficult games I've ever played since I came to, hmm. the, to the soccer fraternity. And what happened at the end it was painful, but it's all in the past now. Have you moved on from that? Have you accepted that to be a loss and you're saying it's school fees paid? Of course. You know, I always tell people that if you keep your mind at the past, you are closing doors. You are closing the, the blessing that God wants to keep uh, give you if you keep on getting your mind stuck at the past. Close the past, leave the past to the past so that you allow the new blessings to come in. It also felt like a big middle finger when that was going on and you went and bought Celtic. It's, it almost felt like you were saying, well, 
you can't keep me out. Middle finger. Look at what I can do. Not really. Um, you know, I think God showed up in his own little way. You know, in, in my case, God, when he shows up, he shows off. And I think that was what has happened. Truth be sold, my sister came in. She felt the pain because I couldn't own two teams at the point of the time. But she appointed me as a president. And Because so Royal AM is not owned by you. It's owned by your sister. It was, but uh, it's back to Royal AM now. What does and that mean? You know, we... we, we so Uno Zipongubo, your mm. sister, is the one that when you bought the team was the registered owner of it. I think the family, they look at the whole thing and they look at it solely. They look at me suffering. They look at me fighting and they come up with something that was going to heal the wounds. Mm. And if you see us, we, we are too family orientated and that's who we are. And at that point in time, in any case, no one can own a club. There's always a cool-off period, but mm. I can't be a president. He gave me that opportunity, and he gave me that, and I'll be forever be grateful to her for that. So who owns the team now? Royal AM. Yes, the team Royal AM. Hmm. Who owns it? Royal AM. It's owned by Royal AM FC. <laughs> That's the entity that owns the team. Of course. And the person who's they registered can't be, name? They can't be a person. There can always be a trust. It's owned by the trust. Okay. So it's been put under a trust now mm. to which you oversee. It's a family trust. I'm still the president. Okay. And the women's team, how do we get into that? Oh. And I say this because you know, here's okay. what many people don't know, <laughs> when I Sean, is yeah. that even at Royal AM, so much staff there is women. The doctor for the women's team, the doctor for the senior women's team, uh, the men's team, uh, the managers there. Is that purposely done? Of course, I'm for women. You know, uh, when I look into my ladies' team last season, we didn't do well. I think we finished off at position eight, if I'm not mistaken. We're still trying to find our feet. But I said, number one, I'm going to make um, my daughter-in-law. Mm -hmm. uh, Tamia. Yes. Yep. Chairperson. And uh, there's a uh, Sposh, who's my cousin. She's just came back now as a team manager. There's also a, <coughs> a coach. I had to go and head Hande. She's been a, a, a coach on the national team and she's a female. She came in with a lot of credentials and I want to build a thing that female can do it. I would like to see my female team growing and all what I want to do into the female team is just people that must just notice them mm. you know they, they, there's no one who's paying attention to any of the girls team and for me I just people to notice them we are there it can't be all over we can't be fighting for work fights for gender equality we're still fighting for gender equality even on sports They've done so well, but there's no noise about them. And I hear you, and, uh, and it's a conversation we're constantly having, and we're seeing the world change. In the USA, you know, the, 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 the pay equity between men and women has been divided now. It's uh, been put together. You get paid the same, et cetera, et cetera. I just wonder, you've got these amazing things that you're building. The Royal AM men's team, Andy is chairman. His wife on the other side is chairman of the, uh, of the women's team. Are you not shooting yourself in the foot by not getting people that are seasoned in football to assist you in reaching the heights that you want to with these teams? And uh, in what you're doing is leaving them to your children now as chair people. Shouldn't they be under studies perhaps first to get to know it, work under someone? What is your philosophy on that? I think surrounding yourself with people with the knowledge, it always helps you. Mm. And I've, I've learned the hard way that's in life for you to understand is for you to make mistakes. You can never learn if you don't make mistakes. If everything comes to you on a, everything is prepared, these people, they, they, they will show you how to do the thing. Learn it. Allow your child to burn so that he knows that there's fire there. Sean, my mother let me burn like maybe a 500, most maybe 6,000. You are letting them burn with millions. 
this is millions worth of things that, uh, not even things, worth of amazing acquisition that you are building a future for them. Let me ask you something. Please. I hate your questions. Yo. <laughs> Shoot. Andile is the chairman of Royal AM. Yes. Which last season it finished off at position two, at position three, and it went to Africa mm. on its first campaign of the season. Right now, this year, it didn't start well. I think it's sitting at position seven. Do you see any faults there? How hands-on is he this season compared to last season? He is. In the boardroom? He is. He, he, it's worse this season because he's even hands-on on the training part. Because when, if you can see a chairman training, why you cannot train as a player? So if you can train with your chairman, doesn't that motivate you enough to train? Hmm. So your philosophy is get out there and lead by example, train, let the other boys train. But I can imagine how difficult it is to train and play with your boss. It's motivates you. It motivates you. If they see me leaving everything that I'm doing, go there and sit with them on training. It's a motivation. You, you, you must hear the technical team when they're saying, if I don't come, they'll be like, oh, but you must pop in. Yeah, I think the boys miss you. There is that thing when the boys see their mother. I'm not doing anything. I'm just sitting and watching the session. But it motivates them. Hmm. I, I want to move on to something that is not plaguing you, but seems to be a huge problem. And I was speaking to Ace Noble, the new general manager at uh, the PSL. What do you think, by the way, of uh, Ace being appointed? Why do you always want to put me on I'm just uh, No, no, no. I'm just asking what your thoughts are, because this is a man that's going to be managing your business. Can I not comment about that? That's fine. Zizi Gotwa, new sports minister, do you want to comment about that? I spoke to him this morning and he says, young, youthful energy is great. Do you agree? <laughs> I know he was trending today because he was wearing a real AM jersey and he, he was gymming with it, but... That's why I'm asking. What do you think? Why am I always put on the spot? So, <laughs> it's not the spot. You know, you obviously know uh, the new sports minister. Um, Change is good sometimes. Okay. And, and, and for me, I think if we're putting new people with new ideas, they'll bring fresh start. You know, you've brought... There's new teams that have come into the PSL mm -hmm. that has brought so much of diversity. I think I like change. Change is good. There's something in the water in Durban because, I mean, it's not only your teams. It's not only uh, Umamato. It's not only... It's also Amazulu. Mm -hmm. They've gone and they said, hey, we're appointing a new CEO and it's going to be a woman. And they've sent her out there. Is there space for that? Do you, do you feel you guys are respected, taken as women? Do you think you're taken seriously in this fraternity of football? Do you feel like you're taken as equals? Do you feel like when you get into a meeting, into a boardroom, when you're having football conversation, they are listened to? We must command respect. And the only way we can command respect is for us to know our game. It's for us to educate, it, educate ourselves and understand the football fraternity more than anyone else so that... When we meet, like people like you, we are able to engage in the same language so that you'll understand that we do know what we're talking about. We're going to take a break. When we come back on the other side, there's still so much to talk about. She's absolutely um, a, a goddess when it comes to empowering women. And you have to go to Royal AM to see it, to see the staff that's there, to see um, everybody that works in and around her. It's an empowerment of women that's constantly happening with Royal AM and Um Mamkiza. You know, what do you prefer, Sean Mamkiza? What do you prefer? Anything. I think Mamkiza has become my name. I'm becoming the mother. You know, the other day we were laughing that everyone that I see, they're like, oh, Mama, whether I'm Dala, no, I'm not. So it's okay. I'm Mamkiza. Let's take a break. <laughs> yeah. At work, at play, online and on the air. Watch out! Check us out at Metro FMSA on all the socials. Metro FM, it's where you're at. We don't play games, we wrote the game. Metro FM, it's where you're at. Yes, 
is Sport Night Amplified with Undile. Okay. Isaac Matabajo is with us now. He is the chairperson of Luka Ball Controllers. Did you speak to players from Swart Regens at any point? No. You've never spoken to them. You've never offered them money. This is all lies. Yeah. Everything is a lie. Yeah, it's a lie. They were never in your car. You didn't go into the farms with the police chasing you. No. You were never arrested. No, I never arrested. So what were you doing at the police station? Because we, at the police station, these people were saying we are already taking the, 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 the under. And you didn't take the under as you? No, I didn't take the under. The mother who was in conversation with the under, he said, open the case of the kidnapping. The under, he said, no, I'm not kidnapping. I'm at the rest in there. The under, at the church. Who's at the church? I don't know. The under, another one. They didn't come because they were at the church. The young boys, he said, I never keep making. Weekdays, 6 till 7 p.m. on Metro FM. Yo, yo, we gon' get them. Get connected. WhatsApp the Metro FM studio. 060-552-7303. It's 6 2160 It's the mighty Metro FM. This is Sports That Amplified with Andy. Liz. Sitting across from me, looking beautiful in blush pink. And uh, shining like the star she is, uh, Sean Mkise, a.k.a. Mum Kise, speaking all things Royal AM, all things women in sport in this year of women. A huge year for women, huh? Of course. I mean, you saw what they did in the, the, the Pro Cheers women's team. They made it to the final at home. Uh, the hockey girls as well, they came uh, fourth in the World Cup at home. Mm-hmm. We've got the Netball World Cup coming up. We've got the Football World Cup coming up as well. Which they've done very well last, last year, our girls. Mm, so I can't wait. Mm. I can't wait for all of that. But the, the, the one big concern in, in, in football, and I, I love South African football, but you know, you're getting a lot of heartaches and heartbreaks. And I wonder, you run two teams, right? In the men and the women's team under the Royal AM banner. And then you're getting Swallows Football Club, you know, struggling with salary, struggling with money. Um, I spoke to Cape Town City uh, ownership as well, and they're saying it's a tough thing. This, you know, sponsorships are lacking, and it's so expensive to run a team. The latest we've heard now is TS Galaxy. You know, players having a meeting. We played that audio. They're struggling. How financially heavy is owning a team? It is. It's 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 not an easy thing to 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 do. Number one, if you get into it, you must understand that if you don't have sponsors, you must work very hard to, to subsidize it. It's not an easy thing to, especially when you want a competing team. Mm-hmm. Because you can't, number one, you can't have cheap labor. You need to pay to have good players that are going to come. Or you must invest in your development to develop players that are going to come to you. But it's not easy. It's so not easy. Where does the bulk of your fund? Does it come from your pocket? Because, I mean, I, I look at Real AM and I don't see the many sponsors on the jersey. Um, so I wonder, where does the bulk of... Is it, is it from the family investing it, which is similar to what you'll see maybe at Sundowns? Is it the same with you guys? I think it's a family because at the end of the day, as I've told you, Real AM is being owned by the trust. Mm. So it's, it's the trust fund that is literally coming into the party and assisting. But I must say... The, the club are trying. You know, sometimes it's sad in me when, uh, you know, we, we, we have this conversation about other club because I don't think it's what they want. I, it's tough. And we know some of them come knocking and asking you. I'm not going to talk about to that. To say, hey, please assist. I don't know. And I'm um, not yet. It's women's mind. Let's not talk about No, I'm just people. saying that they come <laughs> to a woman <laughs> to say, hey, we're struggling. Please come and assist. Can we have, what was it? One point? Uh, no, no, you know, woman. Le, 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 1.5. And they come back. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you know, woman, eh, eh, they, 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 they were meant to carry anything that they can carry. You know, we get pregnant, you don't. Because God always knows that we are stronger than you guys. So, yeah, the, 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 that's how it is. And I'm not going to be here talking about anyone else. No, no, I understand. I'm just saying women, right? that, you know, they came uh-huh. to a woman to I say, hey, it's clearly 1.5. Oh, but I'm I refuse. And you assisted? I, I refused. And did. did you assist? I'm not sure. <laughs> 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 but, I mean, it's a serious conversation, though, because why is it? And you're somebody who's, who's good at branding because you had a million followers in less than a month. People follow you, comment on you. Brands want to be associated with you. You're somebody who's good with branding. But here's Royal AM and a bulk of what we see in the PSL. 
struggling to attract money invested by sponsors? I think we need to unify. And uh, truth be told, uh, I think the executive of, of the league, they've tried their best because they've collected the grant that we are having. And us, there's a lot of business people that are in the in the PSL. We must stop saying, uh, let's look for one. Maybe we need to unify and look for sponsors as a unity and not one person looking for their own. Maybe that will help. But it's because let me tell you, it's it's all about what I'm trying to do as Royal AM, and I think others, they must try and look into that, is to monetize football. Mm. How do you monetize football? Is to make sport to be what it was when I was growing up. You know, when I was growing up, I used to watch Amazulu. They used to fill up the stadiums. Mm. If we can go back to that, because if we can get people coming to the stadium and change that into money, that will assist the club somewhere along the lines. Look at Bloemfontein Celtics. Mm. They don't have a, a team now, but have you watched Marumo Galans when they were playing um, Sundowns? The stadium was It was packed. amazing. The amazing. atmosphere was crazy. The yeah. atmosphere on the field, that's what we need to see. And that's what we need to create and, and, and make people to come to the stadium to and entertain, make football an entertainment thing so that people will come. Until then, depending on how long that lasts, and I've seen your efforts to do that. Mm. You know, you're in the crowd, you're, you're, you're trying to get that uh, mob of Twitly Twatla to, to, to be there. But until that happens, is it sustainable? Is it a sustainable, and you're a person who's built businesses, amazing businesses, is it sustainable the way that it's going at the moment, financially? I think that, that there are so many things that we must look at. You know, we need to sit down and, 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 and govern because most of the of the club, I think what kills them, it's the PAYE that they need to, to, to subsidize for their players. Mm. Because it's a lot. These players are paid a lot of money. And for me, I think, yes, it will take time. And if you look at football as something that's going to give you income, that's where you'll get it wrong. You must look at football as something that you're saying, you are supporting the youth. You are supporting people to showcase their skills. And if you look at it as something that's going to give you money, then you're going to have a problem. If so you're don't come building, into football to make money. Yes. Come into football to say, I want to change a young boy's who can't get an opportunity to get there, you bring that boy and you change their talent. So then would I be correct in saying that Royal AM then is the CSI of your company? Is that this, is, this is where you spend your CSI money then? That's correct. Because at the end of the day, they are young. You know, I don't know if you've watched my last game that I've played with Skukune. Hmm? There was a young boy that was trying to, to, to a, a, a build, like to become like the young Tigazi because the Tigazi as well came from the development team. There's a young boy called Clade. We believe a lot into the young talent and uh, we are going to change how Royal AM is as time goes on because Andila said it very clearly so that he want to see the youth showcasing their talent. And slowly we are trying to build that. You say that and uh, last year at some point, um, Hugo Nyame, your goalkeeper, got into a horrific um, accident and he was in the hospital bed he calls me from the hospital bed and he says please take my call because I want to tell you about my chairperson mm. um, and my president and I remember saying to him you're a grown man um, why are you calling her ma and he says because she is a mother to us have a listen to this Thanks for my mom because if she was not her, I'm not sure she I should get out of, of the ICU and talking to you right now because she's made everything to me to be alive. What did your mom do? Oh, she was there, she didn't sleep, she was sleep, she was close to me the whole time I was on coma and even when I was getting out she was there. She she what kind of person was come to visit me, who make everything to, to get better and to be on the good condition. And when he kept saying my mom was there, my mom was there as I was in the coma, 
I thought to myself, oh, his mother, he was talking about you. Uh, you know, that incident, it, it, it blew me away. If, 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 you know, I've been into the football, the incident that, that, that was so heartbroken, it was the one that happened some years back when I was in NFD, when, a, what was his name? I'll remember now. It was the young guy, Ungubo when he had a head injury and mm. he collapsed on the field. But it was better because you know, he lost the memory. But to Patrick, he was in a coma. And that experience for me, it was very traumatic. I really wanted him to wake up. And as a mother, I, I felt like I, maybe I must do something to make it. All what I was praying for is for him to wake up. Because... It was a sad moment. I am their mother anyway. Uh, you know, you know when we are playing this game now, of the last game that we played, I was saying to them, I wake up at 5 o'clock and I scream at them. I said, you are sleeping. I saw Skukuni, I was practicing. And you know what they were doing? You know that soft goal, that, that far pole goal that you always receive towards the end? They were just practicing that goal. And when the match finished, they came to me, they said, what happened? what happened to the soft goal at the far pole. But at, these are my kids. I think I take them like they are Andile, and I love them to bits, all of them. Are they this loving to you and this amazing to you? Because not only are you there, but apparently you pay very well. I'm not going to talk about that, but I yeah, mean, they are. Because, I mean, rightfully so. Dr. Patricia used to say all the time that they need to be remunerated for the amazing work they do. Surely you have the same philosophy to say they need to be remunerated well? I think I give them love more than anything else. Ah. What am I saying any love? I think, I think, yes, they are getting paid. It's okay. I'm not going to dispute that they're getting paid. Paid well. But I'm not sure about the well part, but they're getting paid for the service that they're delivering. And um, as th they still have a mother, you know? There's a mother there. And, and the, 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 the vibe at the range, it, it's so nice. If you can have a camera there, you'll see how nice the range moments are. Ladies and gentlemen, I know so many of you wanting to get in on the conversation. WhatsApp 60 When we come back, we have just two people that would like to say hi as well. And when we come back, uh, we'll still have her here. She's here for the hour, 10 minutes to go. Afterwards, Ayabong Akawe is with us, and uh, he'll be taking over between 7 and 9. But he'll join the conversation this side first before he does go on because he's got a fascinating hashtag, I was today years old. Yeah. At work, at play, online and on the air. Watch out! Check us out at Metro MSA on all the socials. Metro FM, it's where you're at. We don't play games, we wrote the game. Metro FM, it's where you're at. Say no to physical abuse. Recognize the patterns and report it to friends, family, and the authorities. Physical assault, such as hitting, slapping, punching, kicking, hair pulling, biting, pushing, rough handling, scalding, and burning are criminal acts. Alert the authorities and get help. Metro FM, turning 16 days into 365 days. Yo, yo, we gon' get them. Get connected. What's at the Metro FM studio? 060-552-7303. Good evening, Andile. Good evening, Andile, and our guest, the Mam Kize, and they're in the studio. Yeah, man, I would like to wish the condolences to the to the to the Mtolo family and the Richest Bay, the entire team. It's so sad, man, to lose such a young talent. Nice show, by the way. Thank you for bringing Mam Kize there. Thank you. Bye, bye, Azwe, Cape Town. How are you, Mam Kize? You can never uh, one question that can you please yeah. ask uh, Mam Keys uh, is everything is prepared. What happened between Real AM and Mr. Sinkimnisi? We've had a lot of stories. Can you clarify what exactly happened? What led to to Mr. Mnisi parting away with Real AM as he was the CEO, please? 
Dorose is studio up on the Lumum cheese. Go to Minister of Pagam Shang at ten twenty two. A little and Kerum was the Lumum cheese a goody. A happy channel, no, it is so goody. Use Timila Bully, Rale Emna, Um Simil or Marumas is a pen. Aha. That means you don't believe anything Mazola said because he came here to tell us that. But nonetheless, those are the questions. Let's start with Sinki. <laughs> um, Sinki has been in the football fraternity for quite some time. Mm. And he's one person who always wants to try new things. I think uh, he wanted to go back to his farm and uh, no. pay attention to his family as uh, the Come wife on, was Sean. sick. I think you guys were not being good to him as well when you were saying he was fired, he was this. Was he, he was not fired? fired? Was he fired? He only resigned now. So So up until when is now? When he took out the statement that he's going from Royal AM. Of course. Up until then he was getting paid by you. You were still a member of Royal AM. He has been a member of Royal AM. And was getting his monthly salary, the, the, he was the, part the, of the, the team. The, the, the problem is there's so much of sensationalization that is put through to some of the things. Some of them they damage the credibility of the people. Mm. But then I'm that's not why gonna you're take here to away put it straight. I'm not gonna take away the fact that he was a good person. And he's done well with us. And uh, he's going to start something new for himself. But if we're so good, why isn't he still not here then? Because everything comes to an end in life. And if one wants to try something new, what is wrong with that? Because here's the link to that. Sinky is there. John goes. You're not here when that happens. You're on holiday. Sinky goes. John comes back. I think when Sinky goes, John is already there. Remember John came first? No, now, when he left now. I mean, John just came back. Mm-hmm. So? W- what are link? you trying to imply? What's the link between that? I mean, Sinky, there was clearly something that had happened with uh, Sinky and Royal AM. There was that's clearly some sort of... And that's why I'm like... It's better than for people to pick things out of the air for you people to say it straight. People, they must not pick anything. So say it straight. There's nothing that happened between the two of them. Between you and Sinky? Sinky and Royal AM? There's nothing that happened. He just wanted to... He just to left start. a cushy job that he loved. How do you know it was cushy? He said so. He came here and said so. He said he enjoys it and he loves it and he loves you and he spoke amazing things. Yeah, but it was so much of pressure as well. Working for Royal AM is not as easy as you think. Yes, it can be cushy. But it comes with so much of pressure. And if, you've, if you need to pay attention to your family, and uh, Sinki is old as well. And you guys put a lot of pressure on him as well. And he couldn't take it anymore, which okay. led him to take a, a, a leave. How does signing of players, because we're speaking about the Happy Jelly thing, he's on board now. How does the signing of players happen at Royal AM? Is it the technical team? Do they sit with you? Do they say, hey, we want to sign this player and you look into it? How does a signing of players happen? We always look at the position that we are not strong on and we talk. In in Royal AM, there is a group. So we discuss and we always put options on the group and we talk on the group and Who's we discuss. We? It's the technical team and the management and the board. Okay. So we are all there and we discuss. This is our team and everybody must have an input and we must communicate about the team. And we discuss everything on the team, on the on the group. And then the decision is then made there to say, I think this player, that player, before you take it on. Of course. Okay. So the coach is involved. Everybody's involved in the panel. Everybody's players. involved. Uh, five minutes to go. Four minutes to go before we get out of here. Uh, very quickly. If Andile Ubito Ukama was not your son, do you think he'd? be wearing a Royal AM shirt and playing football? Yes. You as his mom think if he was a player that comes from El Amonte and you've seen him play, he'd still fit the caliber of a player you would buy? He would have in one condition mm. if I didn't stop him. Andile was playing for Amazul mm. Long before, on, I didn't on, know that. On, yes, on his development stage, he wouldn't have entered Amazulu if he didn't have talent. If you look at the people that scout players that plays for Amazulu, they only look for talent. And Dile, at his youngest age, he was already playing for Amazulu, so he would have. 
because he would have grown from Amazulu. Maybe he would have been a Amazulu player, not hmm. even Royal AM player. Wow. Well, there it is. Uh, she's yeah. She's answering all the questions. What's the future for Royal AM? When you look at it and you say, "This is the team that I want." What? What is? What does that chart say for you, for Royal AM, for both the men and the women's team? I want Royal AM not to become a number. Uh, I want Royal AM to win a league sometimes. And that's my dream. What do you think that is? I mean, you, you're, you're a businesswoman who's always plotting and planning. What is the trajectory of between now and when? When do you think you would have invested enough to see that maize grow from the, from, from the farm? I had a three-year plan. Okay. Yes, my daughter disturbed me, and the CEO disturbed me. But that three-year plan is still on the plan. Three years from when? From now? No, the three-year plan was very simple when I came in. First year, I wanted to save the status. Second year, I wanted to end on the top seven. Third year, I wanted to compete. And it still stands. You believe this team, this Royal AM, as it's set up with all that it's got, I mean, amazing facilities as well, should be competing and winning the league. They when you look compete. at the team that's dominant right now, Sundowns, you compare yourself to that and you say, we can and we can go head to head with this and we can beat that even. Let's watch the game on Tuesday. That will give you a clue. But I'm telling you, next year, I am going to compete. Do you know that man? So born a mom kiss. So born. Unjan. Me appeal. Yo, what's one voice from Ghana? Yo, I just une response happens out une mean really. He's happy. Huh? I'm born. Oh, I think I. I always bring that to people. Is I it? come with positive energy. I Lona, I, 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 this one. <laughs> huh? I come with positive energy. Okay. Right. Are you not excited? I'm here. I am. I saw you the see? car outside. Yo, 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 yo. Let yo. me tell you, if there's one thing about her <laughs> is family, right? So, we did this. We spoke to somebody who said, "Guys, please allow me to tell the country how we feel." Right? Mm. Um, so, Timmy, do we have it? Let's just let's just t- have a listen to this. I know you know who this is. Uh, just play it over the speakers, there, Markham. Hi, Ngomish. I hope this message will find you well. I'm so sorry I'm in no position of listening to this beautiful show. But hey, congratulations, baby sis. You have made your mark in South African football. Oh. I can't believe you are the third woman after Natasha Madu in our Premier League. Whatever you touch turns into gold. You have made us so proud, not only because of your achievements, but also because of being the number one cheerleader of Royal AM. We really enjoy seeing you sitting with the crowd, supporting your boys. Your spirit is well noted. Keep it up and enjoy this beautiful show. Mm, that's apparently one of the <laughs> loves of your life. Oh, yes, she is. That's your big sister. I don't know if she's my big sister or she's my friend. Sometimes she becomes a deputy parent. Eh? She puts me into my place. You know, she always uh, mesmerizes me. And yes, I love it. And this message is so sweet. You It's finished now. Everything you wanted to achieve, it's done. He's achieved it. Also, I was the nail. Figi Ling and Ramam Florence achieved it. It's done. Done now. It's done. No, no, I must tell you, when you are not here, ma, yo, 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 ay, 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 ay. There's nothing we don't hear. Next time, maybe Uzuza and the chairman, uh, because uh, you have among him here one of the biggest defenders of Uchame. So I must just put it out there. We'll be so okay? And. That's sharing a name. Mm. He has to do it. Mm. Royal wow. Andil. <laughs> Royal Andil. Nyaplota. Nyaplota. It's possible this thing. Yeah, Royal Andil. <laughs> change the name. Royal Andil. <laughs> Right but I think he brought me here to, to, to fill up the links that you guys have been asking. And I hope uh, he has he has filled up the links uh, that have been missing. 
on the puzzle. Very quickly then, the last one. Women are listening right now and they're all listening because they come from all different platforms, even ones that don't normally follow sport are because of you. And they're saying, they look at the Instagram, they look at the show and they're like, we, we, we'd love something. We, we'd love to follow in these footsteps. We'd like to know the how. What is it that you normally say to people when they say how? I always say in life, you must always set your goals. And if anyone tells you that they've never fallen whilst they were trying to achieve their goals, that is lies. We'll fall so many times, but we must never give up. And I call Lando, in the intellectuals always have a laugh at this, uh, at the pseudos, because you must fall eight times and get up eight times. You can't fall eight times and get up eight times. So after the second time. After the second time, <laughs> there's always one less. Ah, There's no, always but one less. You must less. learn. When you, when you fall, you must learn. If you look at how I've started this season this year, I would have given up. But I didn't. I didn't start well. But I haven't given up. Hey, and I always tell people that you must be a realist. And people that look up to us, I think we must tell them the truth. And they mustn't only see the roses about us. They must also see us falling. And watch us. When was your last fall? Recently. Recently. You know, my team did well at the beginning. And, and, and that happened in front of everybody. I've, I've won my first three games. And after that, it was terrible. Up until I put my foot down and chief speeds us. I said, this is it. Enough is enough. I am not. I am fighting right now. You know, Chiefs, it, it has waken me up. I remember the days when uh, I was in NFD. Richard's Bay woke me up. So this time it's Chiefs. And, and, and I hear you, you know. I just always wonder when I go, and we speak about this all the time, mm -hmm. to say, you know, that where does the, the, the end, where is the end of, of, of this rainbow? Because... Yes, you're passionate. Yes, you mm. love this football thing. Tim Sugazi loves this football thing. Banyaza loves this football mm. thing. And, you know, they, 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 they live for it. But at what end, how far down is this hole that just keeps taking in? Not everybody it just seems can be a Patrice. It, it you know seems what I mean? the business model. Yeah, if you are not a bra. Like, it just seems like that. I don't know, Mam Kiza. I but mean, maybe just, there, there's a billionaire amongst us, a dollar billionaire that we don't know about. Yeah, look, I mean, it seems you like... Know, maybe maybe pockets, that's you know? where we are. <laughs> there are so many business people that have joined the football fraternity. Hmm. I just want them to have a voice. If they can have a voice, and business people, if they put their heads together, we will come up with something. Trust me, we will. Ooh. And it's nice to see that in soccer, there's a lot of business people that have joined now. Mm. And together, trust me, they'll come up with something as long as they have a voice. Before I forget, because I almost did, we spoke about the two teams you run. Are you still involved in the third one? Are you still financially doing anything at TTM? No, I've sent the talent. As you're saying, I help where I can. Remember, TTM was Real AM. Yes. So are you still financially and, and, involved? And, and, and seeing it uh, sitting at where it's sitting, it pains me. And hence, the people that I was willing to promote and send them to and, and, and make them play to the elite league, I said, whilst they're waiting, they'd rather go there and get game time and see how can they assist. So I think that's a noble thing that I felt I have to do it. The biggest conversation in football is how you gave away that status the former Royal AM becoming TTM. You gave it. You said, here's a team. You can have it. For free? Can, yeah, for free? for free. Why? Did you? Okay, maybe let me explain that, guys. Because, I mean, that the status is worth how many millions? <laughs> that's, that's over 40, 50 million, nearing 80 million that you just gave. I'm a businesswoman. And people must always remember that. I work for every cent that I get. Unfortunately... I don't get anyone to give me any money. So every cent counts to me. I wouldn't give away status. Under no circumstances I would have done that. I don't know how anyone could have come up with that. Tana, we've eaten too much into your time. Mm -hmm. uh, how much was, how, how much was uh, Bloom Celtics? Yo! 
I'm not talking about <laughs> price. I don't talk about money. No, mom, because how much was it? Range uh, game. Uh-huh, I don't talk about money. Just the range game. Was it under 100 million? I mean, they were, they were, they, they needed to sell as Above well. So I can imagine meter. you drove. 500,000. Ah, Scar. 500,000. Mm. That's how much the water she's drinking. Who's an aisle from Pa? <laughs> Maldives. From the Alps. <laughs> My Alps water. From the Alps in Panavit. <laughs> so we have a thing that we do. I have a and It's called uh, hashtag I was today years old, where we learn something new. And it's always just this phenomenal thing that we learn. What's today? Yeah, bra. Yeah, as a bajaj. I now know what a bajaj is. Yeah. So, so I I came across a bajaj a few years ago in India, ne? But i bajaj, I didn't think that it would be so popular mm. in Nigeria. Melville, you know bajaj. Yeah. So like that tuk tuk. It's one of the brands. The tuk tuk. Yeah, they make the tuk tuk. Do you understand? Yes, as Muslim hotels in Ghana, Iskuta moto, Iskuta moto. Oh, yeah. oh, oh. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, yeah. So yes. that's an Indian company that makes that thing. Okay. And I would have thought maybe some of their neighbors would be their biggest export markets, right? Pakistan has more people than Nigeria. So too does Bangladesh. So too does Indonesia, by the way. So I thought in those countries you find tuk tuks that they would be selling it there. Actually, not. The biggest market is Nigeria. Um, and a big part of that is because of the culture of Okada. Which I also learned about today. So, yeah, fascinating. What one. is Okada? Okada is like um, Zitex is a tuk-tuk, basically. That's what they call them. But also, the big reason amongst that is that in our countries, in Africa in particular, these cars are on main roads. Whereas in Europe, they would never be allowed to. Ever. In the US, mm. they would never be allowed to. Why? So what these guys in India, because they're just not road safety. There's no airbag in this thing. There's no safety features whatsoever. Yeah, it's also not made for... It's not made yeah. to be in the road. It's made to be, you know, within... Side uh, roads. Yeah. Mm. But they're using bicycles, which doesn't have airbags. Yeah, but then they're not on the road. In Bagwe Moto, a robotine. So what these people do is they come and they dump those cars and those things here in Africa because mm. we don't have those regulations but i think south africa is a very moderate country there's so much that we do that other countries doesn't do do you blame them i do i mean you see a lot of cars that you see in south africa and we spoke about this mm. before there's a lot of car manufacturers that bring their cars to south africa mm. those cars aren't sold in the so-called western countries in the world because they don't qualify the safety tests mm. so right. ask yourself if it doesn't qualify a safety test in europe why do we allow it in? Mm. What are you trying to do? What are you trying to say here? <laughs> Let me understand. No, but Andy, you're also being unfair. No, what, <laughs> also, what, what are we trying yeah. to say? Yeah. We need to be surely. No, we do have a law. Care. We don't allow, for instance, imports of second-hand cars. This it's, is true. Like, you, you can't bring it in. In some countries, I know, for instance, in Rwanda, you can bring in... I think like in Rwanda, uh, also, you can. And in Japan, a lot of those countries take those cars into those, like, countries that can accept those things. Tina, we don't because we assemble cars here. But I think your point is right that on safety. <sighs> what about on job and, and uh, uh, um, uh, are we not uh, uh, employing people? I mean, yeah. we are. That's why I'm saying is unfair. <laughs> so employ people at the risk of people. No, chief, employ people like protect South African jobs. At the because risk when, of people. Yeah, but when you bring in second hand cars, if you assemble it here, then on safety, yeah, sure, fit, sure. No, but if it's a bajaj, it's just. <laughs> What do you mean? No, but... It but, Andy, let me tell you something. You can drive a Ferrari and a Polo. If you get into an accident, it, you'll, be, you, you'll be injured the same. I'll tell you what. So, safety... A Polo and a? Getting and in a Ferrari. Getting Hush. into a car. No, but I'm telling you the so truth. So, when we leave here, I'm taking yours, no. you're taking my Polo. No, it doesn't matter. <laughs> when, you, when, when you get into a car... It's, it's you're putting your life at risk. Regardless. That is why you must always drive your car and drive someone else's car when you are on the road. So it's affordability as well. What do you have on your show? Yeah, so tonight uh, we're going to be talking about that story from Nigeria because there's a bit of an issue now in Nigeria. Uh, but Judge, as you would imagine, those things are bought in cash. And there's a cash shortage in Nigeria now. So they've taken there's 100... There's a cash shortage? Yeah, yeah. So Because they're a very back. heavy cash uh, society. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think about 80, somewhere 80 something percent yeah, of, of into, transactions. Uh, I have a million, oh. you take a cash. Cash, yeah. yeah. Cash, cash. So, so they've taken away from circulation 100 notes, 50 notes, and 20 Naira notes oh. out of circulation. Mm. The government has said, no, no, no. These things must come back. 
um, in order to stem inflation. But what it's created is a challenge for like companies like Bajaj and even Heineken. Because Heineken, the bulk of the distributors who buy the beer, buy it in cash. Hmm. I swipe you. So it's like cash money. Where are they so getting cash? Hmm. I think I need to go and stay in this country. <laughs> <laughs> they, sure won't, they won't allow you to convert your money back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Ladies and gentlemen, um, it was an honor and I appreciate it for you having come in and uh, having spoken to us and inspiring the many women out there because this was a feel good. I mean, it was like, Angela didn't grill it. It wasn't that. It was a feel good interview. Uh, we we forever grilling you on this show. This time around, we said, Let's let's have a conversation that inspires, that sees aspirations that can become reality someday based on everything that you are. We appreciate you coming in and we appreciate you taking the efforts to look this amazing. Oh, by the way, thank you for having me. And and I think it was long overdue for me to come here. I think I've got you some other day when I was saying, Andile, why? Why all the time? <laughs> so I think... <laughs> Today you've responded very well, and thank you for having me. The welcome here was amazing. You were amazing. The whole team was amazing. Thank you for having me here. I've really enjoyed myself. I that put <laughs> we gotta get out of here. It's exactly top of the year seven. We are tomorrow again uh, between uh, six and seven. Duke Lorantia comes into studio because we're profiling and looking at soccer players that should still be playing but aren't we asking what's going on with the oh forgotten sons gosh. of south african football pilla, pilla. Yeah. at work at play online and on the air Mark, Mark, Mark. check us out at metro fmsa on all the socials